You guys ready? You're not even ready. This is scary. You gotta get your get your blankets, get your pillows. The scariest thing you've ever seen. Right there. Right there. This is our Geralt. Oh, he's perfect. Anyway. Um, so we're kind of making our way through this house and through the memory. <laughs> pistachio ice cream. Okay. My sister had pistachio ice cream. Is it worth, you guys, I've never actually tried pistachio. I know there's a bunch of memes about how bad it is. <gasps> oh no, my blade is broken and I don't think I have a repair. I've been killing a bunch of really OP wraiths without, with a broken blade. <gasps> I have a weapon repair kit. Oh my God, I love. Wait, did that not? Did that not fix it? Why is it still broken? <laughs> That only fixed it partially. Well, it'll help a little bit, I guess. Great. Haunted house. See, you guys, we can't meet up for an actual haunted house together, but this is like, we can do a virtual haunted house together. But make it Witcher. Geralt looks normal like this now, I know. He looks weird when he has clothes on. We're like, Bad, it's so good. People always make jokes about pistachio ice cream, but I've never tried it. I feel like I might really like it because I like... It sounds like it wouldn't be overly sweet. Another blurred memory. Okay, we gotta pick up... We gotta figure out what the memory... Ooh. Goth wife in her short shorts. Painting a portrait of her scummy husband. Okay, so spot the difference. He's got some fruit, grape, grape, apple, apple. I hope that's an apple and not a tomato. Goblet. He's got some kind of like string around his neck, which is kind of weird. I don't know what's going on with that. She painted all geared, but the details are off. Living tableau's missing something. Oh no, not this. Geralt. Geralt's so good at spot the difference. Goblet, like the one in the painting. Yeah, where was it again? It was on the table, right? Yeah, yeah, it was on the table. Yeah, let's get that. Living tableau's gotta look just like the painting. I love that he just talks out loud. That's a tomato. No, please, please don't. <laughs> Don't tell me. That's how you make this a true haunted house. That's not an apple, Melanie. It's a tomato. Oh! Goblet on the right? Here. I got it wrong. I'm sorry, Geralt. Middle? Maybe on this side. Still not right. Well, it looked like it was on the right to me, gosh. Okay, um, we gotta get some fruit. Hello? Any tomatoes around here? Ah, there's a fruit basket. Well, what else does he have? That's it, right? Oh, that goblet totally looks like it's on the right side. I guess it's not because his arm is resting on the right. You know what? He's not even in the right position. This is kind of creepy. There's that creepy dog. Tomato and Denethor. Fresh, as if someone just rinsed it. Guys, uh, he made tomatoes famous. The real reason I dislike Denethor is because he made tomatoes famous. Living tableau has got to look just like the painting. Yeah, it does. Place the apple. Right. This goes here. This is so cute. Fits, I think. I think. Finally, just like the picture. 
Geralt, you artist. Smile a bit wider. Like this. That's not a smile. You were meant to smile, not bare your teeth. No, still wrong. Smile like you did when Papa agreed we could marry. Please. Hmm? You're useless. I can tell something's bothering you. I've a bit of work I should see to. Again? Olgird, we agreed not to keep any secrets from one another. We promised. Red flag. Forgive me. I don't wish to discuss this. <sighs> Olgird. Olgird. Fahrenheit, what's that scream about? Okay, we gotta go to the study now. Oh, there's a shadowy figure right there. You guys see that back there? I mentioned this quest on my presentation about impressionist art. The whole design of the painted world is heavily inspired by it. I love that. I hope everyone loved that presentation, because that's really, really cool. Okay, so... Shadowy nightmare figure. Okay, check that box. We're just gonna keep going. I really need to equip, uh, I need to equip, um, some food to my consumables and not alcohol. Oh, I don't have any food. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, raspberries. So yeah, we're gonna put, uh, I have an enhanced swallow potion. Why don't I... use that <gasps> AG legend five hour Miranda character video are they like analysis videos are they defense videos you I need more details I forgot how good this DLC is. it's so good Mr. Crash and Burn I've been sucked into it Faith Shield how are you hello newcomers uh, I accidentally keep drinking alcohol because I'm used to tapping food there. So, uh, we're fighting a drunk style right now. Oh, yes, I have Quen equipped. Nice! Wow, specters scream just like living men. Is that a messed up thing to notice? Tired but good. Sa I'm same. I've been very sleepy lately and I don't know. I think it's kind of the weather. It's been very rainy, overcast, chilly. I had such a like revitalization of energy when it got warm for a bit. Uh, the theme's very similar. Impressionists aren't focusing on the day-to-day -day of people from that era. I love this! Chat! Let's learn! Uh, it's called Scenes from a Marriage, literally day-to-day. -day. The presentation was in Zoom, so I couldn't see most of the faces, but my teacher said she liked it, and I've been the only one to mention video games. Oh my god. I love that Fahrenheit. I did a lot of- I love that, because I, I like- I didn't do art, but I see myself in that a little bit too, because, uh... I would always talk about video games and literature. So that, that kind of, I would have loved to see that presentation. I'm worn out from being busy, plan to sleep after hanging out here for a minute. It's good to have you here. We will lull you to sleep. You can Master von Everick's study. Here he immersed himself in the arcane arts. Oh. 
Wait, he was studying the arcane arts? Find a way to restore the memory. Oh god! Oh no! Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> Midwesterner comes upon <laughs> pentagrams on the floor. Oh yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Pentagrams here to bind summoned beings. Minds aren't all clear though. Need chalk to fix them, then I can set out the candles. Nice. Let's just uh, fix that real quick. <laughs> when people dismiss video games, as I know, and some people like will dismiss them as like literature too. In-depth analysis. I love that kind of thing. I love that kind of thing. I don't. I. You know what? I. I should watch some stuff like that because I never really have gone to YouTube for that. Blood pacts, or on foreign presences. Hmm. A tome about parleying with demons. The visitant shall strive to attain its liberty, and if it does, it shall wreak, wreak great havoc. A visitant must be summoned only within a protective circle. Oh god, the circle got messed up. Circle must be complete and eternal with no ruptures. Yeah, that got wrecked. These wax candles. Well, let's finish this circle. The gates of mystery between worlds, a library of an occultist. Of all the be beings inhabiting the outer spheres, I wish I knew more about the Witcher lore and like the conjunction of spheres and all that. Every time it comes up, I'm always just kind of like kind of a little bit confused. Like I kind of get it, but not really. The spirits of, ele of the elementals are the most foreign to human nature. They possess a will of their own and are intelligent, though not in the way of men. Genies. The mage, Stamelford. Thank God it's not Stregobor. I hate that man. They have to account for branching dialogue. I know, it's fascinating. Yeah, video games can do so much. Games can be educational. Oh yeah, certainly. Oh, they can, yeah, for sure. Think of the conjunction sphere as like a big bang. Okay, that's what I always thought of it as. I just don't know all the like, I guess all the like implications to, or like what the spheres themselves really are or just like are they different worlds are they different planets are they different dimensions manor was depressingly gloomy in the winter how do i get the chalk for this maybe i have to check these doors no oh maybe Geralt will just do it no huh i don't know oh right there nice chalk. Time to teach a lesson. <sighs> Black magic. That should do it. Now for the candles. Uh, um, his wife was pure goth. <laughs> I think this was his doing though. So I guess he's got some, <laughs> some of that going for him too. Weapon control in general. So many people haven't seen a sword outside a museum. Plate mail! Yeah, that's so cool. The Witcher books are good. Different, very different. Man. Yeah, I've heard mixed things about the Witcher books. Uh, guys, what do you think? Does anyone know their pentagram knowledge? Do we place the candles inside? On the vertices? Um, on the circle surrounding the pentagram? Or on the vertices and the circle. I feel like maybe uh, I need my to think this through. I feel like maybe one of those books I picked up said it. Like I looked a little bit at that one, but I didn't Uh wait. How would this work? Is it would can I just read this one? Um, the circle must be complete and eternal with no ruptures. Its line must be drawn with a steady hand firmly gripping the chalk. 
firmly grasp it. <laughs> firmly grasp it. Since a stray step made through carelessness or the visitant's trickery can smudge the line, the circle must be further secured by a barrier in the form of lit candles made of beeswax. A circle thus protected shall stand as a sure and as inescapable prison. So it just says the circle must be secured by it. So the candles should be on the circle. You know what I think about the books. Yeah, CM doesn't like the books. I always place mine on the circle in real life. Uh, Newt. Is that how I would say it? What would you like to be called? Welcome in. You know what I think about the books. <laughs> Can we get everyone in the chat to say, you know what I think about the books? Um, 60 pounds of old English plate mail, straight misery. I can't actually imagine trying to do anything in that. Hey, Lily, we got the Morrigan pillow. We got that, Redoom. Newt, nice. Welcome in. Your smoke alarm is doing a beep every minute. Um, it probably needs a new battery. Although we had a we have one smoke alarm in our apartment that is like right outside the bathroom. And I think this the shower steam uh activated the smoke alarm. So we actually had to take the battery out of that one, which feels bad because that's probably not safe to do. We had to like shut it down. Because anytime shower steam escaped the, from the bathroom. Um, yeah, it, uh, just set off the alarm. I'm like, is there a fire? What's going on? What's going on? And it took me forever to realize that it was just the, the, the humidity. You had the same problem? Okay. Okay. I, I had never heard about anyone having that problem. Thank you, Twitch chat for normalizing things. The same thing would happen. Okay. I thought I was like being a rogue out here. <laughs> nice. Best pillow. Yeah. So it's a battery. That's probably what that is. Um, Lily. I wasn't watching. That's just personal knowledge. Candles should go on the outer points of the stars. Oh, it's personal knowledge. <laughs> I see. I learned something from chat here. I learned something about Renaticus. Mm. Oh, and Lego. How are you today? Welcome in, Lego. It's good to see you all. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. We had an older fire alarm that would do that. Yeah, it's... It's kind of unlucky. We have I have one in here. I think there's one in the other rooms and then there's one further down the hall by the bedroom and bathroom, but it just it went off all the time. Even when we're like using the fan and trying to keep the steam, it just still went off. It was like very very sensitive to it. Okay. So, back to the pentagram. All it says is the circle must be secured, further secured by a barrier in the form of lit candles. So I'm assuming that that's telling me that I should put the candles on the circle or around the circle, which might be two different options here. Smoke detectors are right outside the door. Yep, same, same. It's like, but that made me wonder, right? Because we like took apart our our smoke alarm that was right outside the bathroom. I'm like, did the previous tenants just deal with it? Or did they never shower? Or did they somehow have superior ventilation? Like why, is this not a problem for everyone? All right, let's try this again. Okay, place candles inside. No, not inside the pentagram. On the vertices, that's what Renaticus would do. Um, on the circle surrounding the pentagram, on the vertices and the circle. I'm not really sure based on the book def definition. I mean, um, the book, all the book said was further secure it by putting them up around the circle. So I don't know if I'm supposed to put them on the vertices also. Maybe I didn't read it well enough again. I don't know. A sword longer than you. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Like Aragorn? Like imagine how Aragorn's sword. Seven foot long? No way. 
I tried shutting off the breaker to make it stop, but no dice. Oh, no. Um, is there anything else? Just the circle? Third option. Okay. It's standard knowledge. <laughs> if they never showered, that might eventually set up the smoke alarm, too. You got it! You got it! No, it's not a problem for everyone. For one, you place smoke alarms in, um, in the middle of the hallway. Yeah. But, like, the previous people that lived in this exact apartment, I'm like... The batteries were still fresh in there when we when we moved in, which I guess is good practice, yes. They should be. But I'm like, I'm just curious, I'm wondering if in my head, like, if everyone that's lived here has just ripped the batteries out because of that. Seven feet long to break up pike formations! I love that. Okay, let's try the circle. How about this? Come back! We must talk! Oh, here it goes. Go away. I wish to be alone. Not this time. Come out at once! Why is he being Leave like this? Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace. What the heck? He's got a lot of explaining to do. Geralt just casually leaning back. Oh, let's watch this pentagram. Must I use, damn it? I've tried them all. I wish to end our pact. I summon it. Candles went out. Damn it! Can't she hear that outside the door? Fire! In here, quickly! The flames! Douse the flames! <laughs> I did not expect that. Ah! Find another way. Fire and I'm naked. Ah! <laughs> uh. This game. Damn it! Smack in the middle of a raging blizzard. Gotta find shelter. And get inside. Guys, it's just like what we said. <laughs> You're naked and a fire happens. What do you do? <laughs> oh shoot, not the blizzard again. Oh my god. Uh yeah, okay. I don't know where I'm supposed to go here. die <laughs> am i supposed to do something at their bodies the irony i know right <laughs> give them a show uh sell grapes and wine and eat cheesecake sounds good the cinematography is really good No one's gonna tell me, you guys are just gonna watch me die. <laughs> Look out, Geralt! Speaking of fire alarms, it was perfect timing. Um... Okay. Please? I 
had to build the suspension. The suspense, not the su suspension. Iris and her father. We got in with one HP. <laughs> I know we're naked in the in the cold for the second time. That's happened at least two times. I need some food. Any food in the cellar for me? Uh, there was like when we were dimension traveling and uh, we got in to the last drop. We got into that blizzard world. And I was also naked. I'm like, mm, well, I didn't dress for this. <laughs> I'm trying to check out all of the little mm, a marriage contract between Iris and Olgeard. Oh. We, the undersigned, Iris Bilewitz and Olgeard von Everick, have agreed. Her last name is Bilewitz. Agreed to seal our love in a marital contract and to bind ourselves to certain covenants. Let this document stand as an oath before the gods and all that we hold holy that till death do us part. Number one, we shall treat. Let's. What do you guys think of this marriage contract? We shall treat one another with mutual respect and give due hearing to each other's requests and opinions. Well, he failed that. He failed that already by locking himself in with the pentagram. If separation shall come, number two, we shall each retain all property, both movable and immovable, which we brought into the marriage. And additionally, each shall keep any presence given by the other during the duration of the marriage. Number three, the income which each receives shall each shall spend as he or she sees fit with all costs related to the maintenance and upkeep of mutual possessions being divided equally dot 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 oh man there's more we don't get to see it anyway they have a prenup okay oh we need to get him the cup i see that's why the cup is there I was like, I don't need a mug. Beer tankard, but there was vodka in it. So this is when he started smoking. So I'm kind of confused about when that fire happened. But I, I guess maybe we'll figure out. I don't know. Okay, so how do I get some alcohol for that mug? Mm, she's over here. She looks pissed. Man, she her style is so good. I love how goth she's looking. Wait, 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 wait. Build <laughs> build the suspension. <laughs> the stream is off the rails. I meant suspense, but I definitely said a knife covered in blood. Guess Olgeard got the scars on his shoulders that winter. Uh, what? Who who did that, though? Who did that, though? Olgeard, who did that? Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to find a drink here, because I don't see anything. I don't see anything, but maybe I'm missing something, or maybe I'm just supposed to... So, I don't know what's supposed to go here. He's probably supposed to have the mug, but... So that's how he whiled away the long winter evenings. Um, I don't know what this guy's holding. The contract? Oh, is this her dad? Nice, we got the same hair. He looks like me. Is he holding the contract? Do you guys think he's holding a pipe, a contract, Probably or the knife? Not right. Probably, it looks like he's holding a contract, right? That's not how you'd hold a knife. <laughs> Geralt mentioned he was the dad when you entered. Okay. Luckily, I recognized him from the other scenes, but I, I totally missed that because I was, I was still recovering from the blizzard. Isn't there a scene of the significant other being pissed? Yeah, the significant other is just pissed this whole time. 
But I want an explanation for why he's acting this way. You know? Suspenders. I didn't say <laughs> suspenders. Um, I'm gonna put the contract. Her father must have been holding Ooh. the contract. It's a lot bigger than it looked. Furthermore, it is agreed that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed. He reminds that you me shall of heed Brendan her counsel and requests and get to the point, Father. My patience runs thin. Gladly. On Iris's request, I declare this marriage null and void. Oh. You vowed to remain with me till death do us part. And I've held to my vow. The old geared I married is no more. You tell him. Breaking a word once given does not come that easy. Believe me. You shall stay here forever. Enough. You will not command us. You will. Father. Father. No. Oh. Servant, take this carcass and feed it to the beasts. Ugly bastard. What? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay, bro, what is his deal? Red flags! <laughs> I need some red flags in the chat. What the heck? Then Everick ceased to be human. No, he still loved his wife. No, he merely remembered that he should love her. Let's go upstairs. What is his problem? What is, what, what is, I'm trying to think of a reason or... I mean, I know he's got something going on with the bargain and the wishes, but... Oh my god. I didn't expect... Does it count as a red flag when she already... She knew. She knew, you know? That was confirmation. Not that she needed that to... to, to be confirmed, but... Man. Like, I'm gonna divorce you. I'll kill your father. Okay, well. You've solidified my decision. <laughs> it's no longer after the murder. I remember. Yeah, we that's spent right. much time together here, the three of us. In silence. We'll take our places. The same as then. You do the rest. Oh god, the caretaker's back. Is the caretaker her father turned into this? Ooh. Okay. Well, this is, you know what I hate even more? I hate this bear. Oh my God, I'm afraid of bears. Why, please. Oh, no. oh God. Oh no. I would never put that in my house. <laughs> They're covered in blood. Oh, the red flag. <laughs> yeah, I think the need for... <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we need the red flags when it's already murder. You're right. You're right. <laughs> he killed the messenger. Oh my god, you guys are killing me. This is serious. Food tray. Hmm. Come on, Geralt. All you can think about is food in the middle of this crisis. Who are you, Regis? I thought that was cheese. I definitely thought that was cheese. Small bowl for soup, maybe. Serious. Claw scratches. Okay, so the. Wait a minute. Something wrong. How am I supposed to know what to put there? Am I just making this up as I go now? Animal hair. Oh, there's a pillow on the ground. This is my kind of... My kind of setting. And there's a food tray over here. Mm, something's not right. Ah, I'm so overwhelmed. Single place setting. 
No others on the table. Mm hmm Okay, wait. Well, let's just uh, wing it, I guess. There's gonna be a plate for the dog and, I, and the plate for the cat, right? Is that what's happening? The claw scratches next to the cat, yeah. Large bowl, small bowl. Probably the small bowl for the cats. There we go. Because cats don't eat as much as dogs do. I'm a pet expert. <laughs> I think this was yours. Large bowl for the dog. And now where does the... Where does the... Does she... Can I give her? Ooh, I like her outfit now that she's mourning even more. Okay, so I can't put the other food there. Uh... I <laughs> deal with serious stuff with comedy and sarcasm. That is totally valid. Uh, hello, caregiver. Would you like some food? Oh! Perfect match. Do you actually eat from these bowls? Of course not. I already told you, we're not animals. But the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. What are Another you? monstrosity. I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. The dog and cat keep you company. This what one is? will protect you. Care for the house. No matter what happens. Before I wished to All know her what makeup. was going on in that head of yours, I thought perhaps I could help. No. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. Don't try to fix them. I feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Ogird. I want you out of my sight. What is happening? Oh my god, she looks so good. Olgird von Everick failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. We're almost at our journey's end. But like What's there? Iris von Everick's greatest fear. Great, that'll be some kind of fight, I'm sure. That'll be great. I take my comedy very seriously. I've seen some cats eat like pigs. <laughs> hey, pigs are cute. Okay, Faith Shield, have a good night. Killer, how are you? Killer B. No matter what happens, the only thing happening around here is you. <laughs> what is up with him? Okay, I'm gonna save again because I'm... Oh, nice parkour, Geralt. Guys, this quest is great, but it's also like man. Iris's Gwent card in the standalone game is so good. Oh, I bet. What does it do? Jewel, hello, welcome in. It's good to meet you. Um, let's examine this, I guess. My dearest wife. Letters from Old Geard to Iris, where I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade, especially now, when an icy void grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and I see you with her. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. Geralt? May you live in health, and remember but the good times, Old Geard. Do you- Oh my god.
So her greatest fear are like these... I'm trying to like decipher the meaning here. Ooh. Oh my god, this is gonna be difficult. I don't know what uh, the method is here. I want to like think more critically about what's going on, <laughs> what this is like. Representing? About like relationships and marriage and as lifeless and boring as a boulder at the roadside. You guys remember how I got wrecked by him? Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I got wrecked by him when it was just one version of him? Looks like his immortality. I want a marriage DLC. <laughs> it's time, Yennefer. I, I, I don't know. I guess marriage isn't that important to me, but... It's always pretty cozy when there's like a... Please let me replace the... Thank God. A witcher shall soon be buried. But like, what's going on here? Iceman, thank you so much for being here and have a great night. A lot of work, how are you? I am doing very well. It's been a very, very fun night streaming. And this game is super, super fun right now. Queen Ramos, hello, welcome back. I'm just trying to figure out what the deeper meaning is here, but I gotta stay alive to do that. Goodbye. Cursing my name, wishing I stayed. This reminds me of a Taylor Swift song. Is that bad? If I'm dead to you, you dead why to are you at the way? If Lou were here, Lou would understand. <laughs> Does anyone get that reference? Oh no. Oh god, he's got. Oh my god, those blades. Cursing my name, wishing I say. Look at how my tears are pushing. What is he going on about? How am I involved in this world? Iris's greatest fear is that I get wrecked by zombie versions of her husband. I probably shouldn't have woken up all the zombies at once. Just gotta be patient. I can't let my anger guide my battle. Like it does in Trary. I have to be drist. That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with. Coming from you who killed your wife's father. Bro. You won't do it. This wasn't really my choice. Old Cursing my name, wishing I stayed. You guys should listen to that song. If I'm dead to you, why are you at the way? You won't do it. 
He just keeps saying that. I'm like, hmm, am I supposed to kill the other ones? I hate that he just blocks everything. This is just like dueling you in that pit. There's still one more. Oh, you got your tricks again! Man, this is part two. The rematch. Nice. That was a good hit. He's got one more body. You need ten bodies? I only need one. You won't do that to Emotional damage! <laughs> this whole quest. That's a story. Yeah, take that. Wow, got me. Got me. All geared, more like all feared. As life is, it's a ball. This is probably what the duels between Dristan and Trey look like. I didn't actually actually skip the cutscene for once. You're not him. Wait, I want to talk. I'm a better man. Not here. Not in this place. I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Olgird? I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. Oh my god, I love that. I love that! <laughs> I love it. You could totally do an Iris cosplay. <gasps> oh my god, I should. I like love her. I want to be like that. Like if if something tragic happens to me and some man tries to ruin my life, I want to be like this eternal artist, goth woman. I am sadness. That's so cool. That's so cool. Also, Lou how are you? Just a second ago, I was like, this whole quest reminds me of a Taylor Swift song. And then I started singing My Tears Ricochet. And I was like, maybe if Lou were here, she would get it. <laughs> Can you burn sadness away? No, you can't. You can't kill it. Well, I love this. This is great. If you didn't notice, each version is more powerful than the previous one, with the last one being just like the real Olgird. Hey, well, I sort of noticed, but I guess I didn't really notice all the individual versions. I was just like, wow, this feels like fighting like our actual duel that we had. Oh my god, I was playing Taylor Swift songs with my blue guitar. Yes! <laughs> I'm sure that was great. This, like, My Tears Ricochet is so good for this because it's all about, like, it's so good. I feel like it pairs so perfectly with what I've seen of this quest. 
I think you would become Galadriel when she talks about the One Ring. You got me. You got me there. You got me there. <laughs> I would uh, not be able to resist that temptation, most likely. Um, did I miss anyone else in the chat? Something about Witcher 4. I don't know what that was. Oh my god, this cosplay would be so good, though. I love her makeup. I, I, I have to be able to, like... I've, I've never mastered that like smoky eye dark look but I feel like I could give it a try he's the reason for the teardrops on my guitar <laughs> oh my god uh, I can see you haunting something you make a fine ghost thank you I'd pull pranks that's what I would do if I were a ghost I'd be a prankster ghost haha <laughs> someone would be like oh my god I'm so scared I'd be like haha just kidding just kidding. Medieval T Swift, yeah. If I'm dead to you, why are you at the wake? Cursing my name, wishing I stayed. You turned into your worst fears. Now you're drunk on this pain. What does it say? Drunk on this pain. Uh, something, 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 cursing out the good years. I didn't have it in myself to go with grace. Cause when we'd, when I'd fight, you used to tell me I was brave. And if I'm dead to you, why are you at the wake? Sing it with me, chat! <laughs> this fight is really difficult on Death March. Oh, I imagine. I picked up on the not awaking every ghost thing. <laughs> Mel concert, <laughs> no. I picked up on that, but I awakened a bunch of them at once and it wasn't a good idea. I can't imagine playing this. On, on Death March. I can't. I awakened five? Yeah, I, 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 I definitely took a bad tactic there. Currently looking at boots. Ooh, I love boots. Jack, have a good rest. Have nightmares about my ghost. Yes, I've always wanted to have someone have nightmares about my ghost. F struggled with this. What was she? She was playing on really hard difficulty, wasn't she? Cursing my name, wishing I stayed. Oh my god, that song is so good. It's totally about this. If you wake all of them up at once, there's an achievement. Of course there is. I heard a rumor that there's an achievement. No, not an achievement. An Easter egg in The Witcher 3. That only, and I don't know if you guys heard about this, that only activates after like seven years of in-game time. I heard a rumor about that, but I didn't really read into it. Okay, anyway, her epic line, I am sadness. Oh my God. We've met before. There is, wait, what is it? But it's a spoiler. Oh shoot, no spoilers. Okay, no spoilers, no spoilers. <laughs> I didn't know it was a spoiler. I didn't know that was a spoiler. We've met before. Geralt has met sadness before. Saw you before, but you weren't yourself, and I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. I had bad dreams. That is all I know. I had bad dreams. I came for the rose old Geard gave you. See, some men give you a rose and they're Alistair and they're perfect, and other men give you a rose and they're all geared. Skooma boy, welcome in! We are partying, partying. Friday, Friday. Is there achievement for ignoring all the achievements? I would probably get it if there were. Not even if you paid me. You wouldn't sing the Taylor Swift song with me? Cursing my name. 
Come on, guys. We gotta get more in sync. <laughs> Streamer jams. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no. This is inspired by Impressionist and Post Impressionist art. The Iris' pseudonym is Van Ro. Oh, Van Gogh's paint. Oh. That's pretty straightforward. I love that. I mean, the name is very. I don't like Taylor Swift. Well, how does it feel to be wrong about some things? <laughs> I actually, I don't really have, I, I only know some of Taylor Swift stuff. This, some of it I like a lot. A lot of it I don't know. And Taylor Swift as a person, I don't know much about at all. But like some of, I really, really like um, some of her lyrics. In sync or Taylor Swift make <laughs> emotional <laughs> damage. <laughs> you have a really nice voice. You should sing to stream more. I I am like too shy to actually try very much with singing. I used to sing. I used to sing and do musicals and sing in choir. But I gave up on that life, and now I just, I only sing in a joking kind of way. But I used to have an okay voice. But thank you, Lou, that's very sweet. Never meet your heroes, unless they're Jalaxel. Jalaxel, I would love to meet you. You're not my hero, you're my villain. <laughs> okay, I've come here for the rose. Hand it over. I've come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. Ooh, On the day we saw one another for the last time, I dried it and placed it in our chamber at my bedside. Of course, I did. lay there for days, staring at it, until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look. You buried my body, and the flowers bloomed once more. Oh. And I... I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken, just like my beautiful rose. When you placed the sketchbook on my grave, I remembered learning to draw my husband's face. Tell me, how is all geared? Healthy? Does he fare well? Why is she still thinking about him? He's doing all right. <laughs> He's all right. <laughs> he doesn't deserve your concern. I mean, he really doesn't seem to, but I don't want to say that. Because that, that kind of undermines her own choice. That kind of undermines her own choice, you know what I'm saying? Um... What was I gonna- what else was- I was gonna say something else. Guess I'll never meet you! Oh. <laughs> I unconsciously say shut up and say insults to my microwave when it starts beeping. You don't want to meet me. Ooh, Fahrenheit is a villain. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, uh, your husband has a powerful enemy. We'll start with that. We'll start with that, um, detail. That small detail. Your husband's got a powerful enemy. Gontaro Dim. Know the name? I curse the day I first heard it. Oh. Who is he? And how'd he step into your lives? Through the pentagram. It's my fault. It was for me Olgird summoned the Man of Glass. And it was my fault he wished for riches, then immortality for us both. Olgird will best Odin, won't he? Now tell me, how is my husband? Uh, I can't guarantee he's gonna... Why did he... I'm so confused though. I get that he was struggling with money and she came from a rich family. And I get that whole, that whole thing. But like, what... Why did he make this deal for her 
because he wanted to be good enough for her and her family or like he wanted to be but they were getting married either way or did he use it to get the marriage I'm so she does still love him it she really still uh, loves him yes we've been expecting you this guy murdered her father in front of her and she loves him wow Arna dude thank you for the follow hello Uh, wait, looks at about every classic hero tale, yeah. Yeah, that's true. The hero is a very fascinating, or like hero versus, um, villain and, I don't know, that that's a very fascinating thing. Which is why I love reading fantasy books. But anyway, uh, Elgird's doing alright, that is a big lie. He... I'm gonna say he pretends to be happy, but he isn't. Cause I feel like that's the most honest answer. And I, like I said, I don't like that the first one kind of like tells her how to feel. Because even though I think he doesn't deserve her concern, like who am I to tell her that, you know? Your husband hunts out ever stronger sensations. He tempts fate. Because at heart, he's unhappy. At heart, he is stone. <gasps> Hearts of stone! So nothing has changed. What is... And did... Did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Not much. But I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? The last I have left of him. His last gift. Oh no. I don't understand. Why is he so bad? I love her outfit here. It's so good. I love the like beads and jewels over this like veil on her face. Guys, I feel like I would want to do this cosplay so bad, but also I feel like it would be expensive. <laughs> I, I usually beat the microwave before it beeps. Like you make it to the microwave before it beeps. Hearts of stone! <laughs> the moment I knew. The moment when you see the title in the text or in the game, it's like... I love this. Got a feeling the rose is important to you, more than a memento. I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real, and I... My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. A friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose. Feelings we witchers call pins. They're what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Oh no. Horrible. Need to be honest. If I take the rose, you might cease to exist. As might the world you built around you. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Is it the void that awaits? I don't know. You tell me. I don't wish to suffer any longer. But I fear there will be cold and darkness until... there is nothing at all. Oh gosh, I love this! I was kind of thinking though when this is when this was the scene was playing out um I would love to see this like reversed kind of like reversed with the husband and wife like I would love to see the husband like cuz I feel I feel like I almost expect the wife to be like this like 
beautiful epic mourner whatever is going going go, goth role here um and i would love to see the husband just like in this position and the wife is just like out in the world dealing with all this stuff and there's this like goth husband that's like i love her so much and that would be so cool too <sighs> I might be an eternal morning, but there's no reason not to show off, right? Look good, feel good. Algird me already met Iris. They were happy. The Von Evericks had a reputation for being criminals. Yes. Okay, the, crim the family lost a fortune suddenly. Uh-huh, I remember this. Iris's family were rich. Yep. Okay, yeah. Algird's... Old gear searched for supernatural help and wished for immortality. Oh, with the prince, and then he searched for immortality. I forgot about the prince thing. I guess we never knew the exact... Okay, I forgot about the whole prince thing in there, even though I obviously remember that now. I just forgot how that connected to everything. R why did he wish for immortality? Lou never said hi to me. That makes me sad. <laughs> oh, no. CM is crying. Wait, pass a tissue to CM. We have a tissue command. You guys can pass tissues to each other at any point. You need support. Oh, no. We needed the CM. I can't take the rose. Can you give me the rose? What? This is my choice? Wait, wait, wait. Why is this my choice? Like, I feel... She said... She seems so indecisive about it. She, I don't wish to suffer any longer. I feel there'll be cold and black... dark, or Cold and darkness until there's nothing at all. Ah, yes, and we've been expecting you. I have to decide if I'm going to take the rose back to him, which I don't really even know what that's going to do. Or I can say I don't take the rose, or I can't take the rose, which I don't, I don't know. Perhaps he quite literally wished for a heart of stone, one that will never die. Oh. Yeah, I get the be careful what you wish for kind of thing. Offshore bread, welcome in. Under the impression that Olgeard was genuine with his love for Iris and sought out Odim. I love that we're interpreting this. I love this. Um, out of desperation because she was going to be betrothed. Okay, yes. But I've read other people say that Olgeard was just using her for the money. I don't think so. Thoughts? Well, we didn't see. We didn't see a lot from his... Avedon, hello! We didn't see a lot from his perspective. Like, I mean, he was there, but he was just like, I have issues. I, I'm not going to tell you why not both. I guess it could be both, too. <sighs> Guys, can I have a um, lactose moment here? I want to know, does anyone know if, like, if I choose one of these, is it making, like, a final decision? Like, if I choose, can you give me the rose, that means I take it, and if I can't take it, that means I'm not taking it. I don't, I don't feel qualified to, to make this, like, I don't know if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing. I feel like I'm just going to be choosing randomly here. I mean, I know I came here for the rose. And maybe it would be best if she was at peace, but then again, I feel kind of like weird just interfering and in, in making that choice for her. A 
That's kind of a big point of the expansion, since he was a criminal before all this started. Did Odim's powers turn his heart into stone, or was he always this bad? Because, yeah, that was the whole thing. Like, everyone was warning her that he's not a good man, and he's not going to be a good husband. I don't know. I just feel like we didn't see enough of him for me to feel... I don't know. I don't know what he's like, genuinely. Okay, well, I don't know what my... My own heart says I can't take the rose. But I also think maybe it would... Well, this is just asking a question. Can you give me it? The first one's not a final decision. Yeah, because the first one... Yeah, so this is just asking. Maybe we can ask her? Uh, and see what she says. I want to know how she feels about it. I need the rose. Will you give it to me? He's talking so soft. It's so fragile. Look, the battle edges have turned crimson, as they were on the day I received it. The one thing missing is the single drop of dew which slid down the leaf when I took the rose in hand. Or was it blood? Because I pricked my finger. I can't remember. You know, I never did read the letter from Orgird. I didn't have to. And I needn't have kept the flower he left me. I've come to a decision. Oh, okay. I shall give you the rose. Our service thus ends. Thank you, stranger, for freeing us. I'm glad she decided... Before we go, some advice. Beware of the one called the Man of Glass. Stand in his way, and you'll meet a fate worse than death. Seek salvation in glass that can't be broken. Glass that can't be broken? So long. I'll remember you, Iris von Everek. That no longer matters. Farewell. Wow, I love her. How come no one ever talks about her? It's all... Triss... Jennifer, no one ever talks about her. No one cosplays her. She's so cool. I like that that was her choice. Brave Athos! Have a good sleep! Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for all the kind words. Oh my gosh, you guys. That was so good! That was so good. I love her, her voice and Geralt was talking so softly to her. He was like, I'm, I'm gonna need the rose. <sighs> that was very good. See, Lou, you love her too. She died without anyone talking about her. I know! Oh my god. She deserved so much better. And I just feel like I need so much more explanation from all geared. Like, I feel like my sister was defending all geared. Last time when she was in here last week, because she's like really into these. How do I get out of this gate? She's like really into these quests and stuff, and she was like defending all geared. I'm like, okay, I'm I'm open to the idea of defending all geared, but I need more. I guess I gotta go out the front gate. Emotional damage. This whole quest was. <laughs> Got that right. Oh, there's Roach! Roach has just been hanging out here this whole time! Hello again, Nasasu!
There's a ton of Iris cosplay and fan art. Oh, really? We don't share it because it's a spoiler. Okay. I haven't seen it. Anyone that I've like followed that's done Witcher cosplay or talks that's about the Witcher a lot. I've, I mean, like, I guess it's good because I never got it spoiled, but I've never just seen it casually out there on the internet. Uh, anyone that I follow or anything like that. And I'm kind of surprised. I may be in the same boat as Morgan. Oh, wait, 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 Lou. You, I'm not surprised by that because uh, you were like, I can fix him about, Faster. um, what's his name? <laughs> oh, oops. Hey, yeah. You're like, I Slow can fix now. him Whoa. about, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'll think of it. I'll think of it. I'll think of it. Shoot, what was his name? I'm so bad. I know it. I just can't think of it. Vladimir! <laughs> yes! Vladimir, I can fix him. So, yeah. I'm, I'm not surprised. Okay, I need to stay on the main road. I'm really bad Faster. at following this. Vladimir. I, I wanted so badly to think of it on my own, but I, it was like, I know it, but it was too deep in my brain. Polish and Russian accents. Wait, what about them? Oh, you like blood and wine? I feel like people are very divided about which DLC they like better. If I'm dead to you. Well, I guess I'm just gonna take the road. Cause I already ran past the, we'll just go to this one. It's been a while since we had some scenic. Cursing my name, I shall stay. Guess I'm Come on, Roach. going off road a little bit. You turned into your worst fears. Now you're tossing out blame. Drunk on this pain. That's what it is. Now you're tossing out blame. Drunk on this pain. Or something. Maybe it's not tossing out blame. <laughs> Cursing out the good years. Go, go. Go, go, go. We made it. We made it. A fan out of how she should look in the games. What? Wait, how does she look in the books? Oh, is that that she's supposed to be like scarred and, and whatnot? There are a lot of ones with deep lore and cosplays and fan art. Okay. This is why I don't date anymore. Yeah, Lou. <laughs> Lou, you do not want to bring that. I totally understand that I can fix him a uh, fictional character energy, but you do not want to bring that to real men. <laughs> I saw this meme that was like there's two types there's two types of women that's like either it's the I can fix him or it's the I could fix him but whatever the hell that is wrong with him is way funnier <laughs> I could fix him but whatever's wrong with him is way funnier Versus the I could fix him. Storm, damn it. I feel like I'm more so in the second boat. Two points and be quick about it. Okay, oh, Algier, you please, got some. Good sir, a bit of courtesy. So I look up, and Bob's your uncle. He downs half the barrel in one draft. Go 
Gerald! Over here! Oh god, my friend! Oi, wait your looks. Use the look of a man who knows how to drink. Thanks. Some other time. Hey now. Don't make me beg. More treats! Okay. I like a man who can stop time. <laughs> uh. Show off. Of course I am. Wouldn't you be? Time's a marvelous plaything. And a great spice to use in gingerbread. <laughs> so, you were listening. Indeed, occasionally I find time manipulation irresistible. I can't. Controlling it offers so many appetizing opportunities. Like spiking the soup of unsavory individuals with appropriately ghastly things. That's what you want to do? <laughs> with your time control? <laughs> okay, bro. Both of the DLCs are excellent. I find the quests a bit more interesting in Hearts of Stone, but I love the setting. Oh, I've heard that too. I'm excited to play it. This one has been so good. This song is really good. We are not alone. Really not alone. <gasps> Scrain! Welcome in! Thank you so much for the raid. It is good to see you. Thank you Holy for bringing crap. your community That's over here. How is Horizon going this week? Screen, mighty friends. We are having such a good, fun, chaotic, lovely story, everything stream. Horizon very well. Trying to progress the story. And it's like a massive game, right? I'm so excited. Your Geralt is so terrifying. Thank you. He loves that compliment. <laughs> so terrifying, you'll be having nightmares about him. It's a very big game. Okay, I thought so. That's another game I'd probably never finish unless I only played like the main quest. Thank you so much for the raid. Um, welcome in to the Pillow Forward, everyone. If you haven't been here before, uh, we play lots of story-driven games, and we talk about books and D&D, &D, and we have characters on pillows. <clears throat> Spicy nightmares. And the beak stays on. Only playing the main quest such a waste. You know, I just don't have time on the stream. I just, I mean, I played, I played a decent amount of side quests in the early portions of the game, but, um... I think I would just have to play it off stream because otherwise I just would never finish the main quest. Like I could probably play it like five years. Okay, let's see. We're at this very epic moment of confrontation and I don't know what's gonna happen here, but the way that it keeps shifting between his gaze and his gaze, it, okay, it's creeping me out a little bit. You can control time, or is this some trick? Who are you really? He's not gonna answer, but I'm gonna say, who are you really? <laughs> I who love are this. You really? Gauntero Dim, also known. Not what I'm asking. Ah, so you'd rather know what it is I do. In brief, I give folk what they ask for. You might say, I simply grab their wishes. Awfully noble of you. Yeah, they're giving each other a little look. It's like... Across the room. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That'd be downright noble if you didn't always demand something in return. Law of the market. I was not the one to coin the phrase, nothing comes free. You're not human, that's clear. So what are you? A demon? A djinn? Do you really wish to know? I mean... Yes. No, Geralt. 
You don't. This one time I shall spare you and not grant your wish. All who have learned my true name are now either dead or have met an even worse fate. Yet I still need you. Okay, but... What could possibly happen to me that's worse? <laughs> Geralt and Odim's theme songs fight each other. That's so cool! They always have blood and wines menu. I love this music. You actually control time, or is this just some conjurer's trick? What difference does it make? A big one. Hmm. Let us say, time has always fascinated me, so I taught myself how best to use it. Why time, of all things? Geralt, there are four dimensions. Length, width, <laughs> height, and time. What would you have me fall in love with? Width? <laughs> Come now. Oh my god, that's such a good answer. You've never heard Geralt's real theme. Well, now I'm gonna have to go look this up. I'm gonna have to go look this up. Dark but weirdly soothing is totally a vibe. I like with if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, come on, give us some creative responses in the game. We totally could have said that. He's not funny. He's kind of funny though. I love that if I don't select these two, it just, it pans back and forth between <laughs> And he looks at me, and I look at him, <laughs> and he looks at me, <laughs> and I look at him. Morgan, how are you? Have you been lurking? Touche to that response. <laughs> Open topic, hello. Uh, I'll put it in the Discord. You could get spoilers if you look for yourself. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, another question is though, how, how close am I to the end of this DLC? In terms of the main quest, because I'm, I know there's a lot more I could do, um, but we still have another DLC chunk to do. He looks at Geralt's head. Not all the scars. He did put one of those scars on my face. We're very close. Okay, very- Oh! Okay. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? I wanted to congratulate you. You acquitted yourself splendidly with all gear. In fact, you've Why almost do I have satisfied a debt? your debt. Was supposed to fulfill his three wishes did just that. This is where you remove the brand, because we're even. Yeah. Nearly. To fulfill the terms of the contract to the letter, you must do one more thing. Draw all gear to the temple of Ilvani. We never discussed that. Oh, but we did. As a man of the world, you should know that every contract contains a catch or two. Small print, which, nevertheless, changes the ultimate meaning of the pact. Okay. <laughs> this applies to oral contracts as well. Great. Recall that I said, and I quote, I believe, however, that all will end well. And once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. End quote. Thanks, I hate it. Mm, yeah, I remember. Fulfill your end of the bargain, and I will remove the brand. That was the last time you interrupted me while I was talking to someone. I just knew he was gonna... I just knew... Okay. What the devil? Why is there a fly in my soup? I was waiting. I had an eye He said, you. what the devil? Didn't see you come in. How is it you're here? Oh my god, please, 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 please. You. This is the answer I want. I can control time. Old witcher's trick. I concentrate real, real hard, and I can control time and space. You tossed this fly in my suit? Uh. No. Now listen carefully. <laughs> to 
Tell your Ataman to come to the Temple of Lilvani. It's south of here. Entrance is inside a cave. What's the commotion? Lilvani's temple, got it? Aye, got it. Hold that! Your friend, the medic. <gasps> she were here. Ask that you look No. Thanks. Wait, why is she here? Did you see? Why, why? The bloke literally the dropped Why is Shawnee? Yeah, alive a moment ago. Yep, that guy's dead. Okay, bye. Fainted? He's soaked in blood. Wow, I don't... No wonder folk are dropping. <laughs> Cursed and exed. Nice. They blamed it on me. Okay, where's Shawnee's house? Let's go see Shawnee. I hope she's over our, uh little romance thing yeah let's go see shawnee i don't want to miss it oh we asked her to look into the oh yeah oh yeah i forgot about that that was a while ago now <sighs> morgan the other quest was so good the marriage thing i want to i want to cosplay as iris did you go on the boat with her? I turned her down for the sex. I turned down the sex. And everyone was pissed at me. You have to remember, I was dedicated to a celibate playthrough for years. <laughs> Black Adder. Odim's most pure example of a merchant. Not the merchants. Never trust a merchant. It's like that guy in Spongebob that's like... Every night I break my legs. And every morning I break my arms. I hope Shawnee's okay. Why, why am I worried that something bad's gonna happen to her? Second sign of- Second time I've seen someone turn her down? Wait, who turned her down? Who else turned her down? Did F? She's your ex from Witcher 1, I know. Yen would be proud of me, I know. I like I like Shawnee as a character. She's Shawnee. grown on me, but Oh, girl. Good to be here. Walk in with a moo. What is happening? What happened? Somebody break in? This? Oh, no. Just getting ready to move. What? Just packing what, what, with heels on? <laughs> not what I wanted to talk to you about. Or at least not only, but... I'm leaving, Geralt. The Eastern Front beckons. I'm Kedwin Bound. She's leaving? Okay, I mean... Uh, she's gotta live her life! She's gotta live her life! F turned her down to okay. Wait, who did F ro F romanced Yen? Right, same same as me. <gasps> Baker N Seven, welcome in. How are you? Yeah, I guess Shawnee was like unofficially my Witcher One girlfriend, but the game kind of forced me into a romance with her, a romance with her. Um, with the whole Elven thing. They play the theme that plays when you talk with Yennefer in the main game. Oof, I don't like that. I don't like that. She romanced taller. She did. Stop! Stop! <laughs> I thought you were talking about Shawnee. <laughs> I was like, she did. She did. Don't. Don't you dare. Uh, oh, Dim's like, what are your wishes? I'm like, Taller romance. Yorvith romance. Please. <laughs> okay, where you going, Shawnee? What's up? Never mentioned you'd be moving. Any intention to, either. I didn't know I would be. Found out this morning. Two soldiers came to my door, said Redania needs me again. Couldn't turn them down? Just say no? Uh, perhaps I could have. But I didn't want to. Treating the ill and wounded, it's my She's calling. got a life to live. No place I'm needed more than at the front. She likes doing it. 
Wait, why would you say don't go? Is that a romance? Is that a romance thing? Like, don't go. Be with me. Or is that like a friendly, no, you shouldn't go. Living the life I wanted. Oh. <sighs> Did you hear about the new Witcher game? Yes. Wait, Yorvith? Yorvith might be there? Could you guys hear that? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you could hear that. That was my Nazgul shriek. Wait, are you serious though? I didn't look at the trailer or anything. I saw that it was, no, there's no trailer. Never mind. I, I saw, I didn't look at the official post. I saw that it was like talked about, but I didn't read everything about it because I was worried. <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> Can we please romance Yorvith, please? That was my Nazgul shriek. <laughs> my dog heard it. You shouldn't have mentioned Yorvith. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe we can romance him. Please let me play. If we're gonna be witchers, I wanna be like a... What if you can create your own like witcher origin? Like in Dragon Age. And you can be like... Like I can be like a, a lady witcher. Let's get the Yorvith pillow up here. <laughs> He heard the call with that screech. Here we go. Everyone. Best boy. I don't even know. Who would I choose? What if there was an option for Taller and Yorvith? I'm definitely going to choose Yorvith. I think. I'm sorry, Taller. Taller is like a little bit too... Uh... I don't know. He's a little bit too something. For me. I can see them going that way after Cyberpunk. I didn't play Cyberpunk, so I don't know much about it. <sighs> the announcement means little to me. Oh, oh wait, am I? <laughs> One second. Okay. Just rolling over my headset cord, no big deal. That's like one reason I want to have cord, I mean wireless stuff. But at the same time, if I had wireless stuff, I would never remember to charge it and I'd always be dead and then I could never stream. Okay. Anyway, just getting back in here with the Yorvith pillow. Customizable Witcher PC would be cool. That would be cool. Yeah, it's kind of like Bioware taking forever with their games. The theory's already saying it might be set in the north of the continent. <gasps> A white dragon! Mark this comment. Somebody clip that. Somebody clip that. Thank you for the Yorvith redemption, Lou. Okay. So, I'm not gonna tell her don't go because I feel like that's romance and also she clearly wants to. So, you know what? I want her to find happiness. And I hope that's what this is and I hope it's not some kind of like... her making a rash decision because Geralt didn't want to be with her type thing. I hope that's not what it is. I hope it's just like, oh, I got life to live. I understand. Any chance we'll see each other again? Someday, I'm sure. She seems a little bit pissed. I can't really tell what's going on here with the, the dynamic between these two. Arctis Pro Wireless is really good, but a bit expensive. It has a base station to rotate batteries. Oh, that's good. Maybe at some point if I... I usually don't replace things until they're like broken, but I hope they take their time with it. 
Yes, the smiles through gritted teeth. <laughs> you would rather have a handcrafted defined protagonist. I can understand that too. The thing is, I had never played games with like a pre-created protagonist before playing The Witcher, but I, I can definitely see the advantages because you can make the story much more personal in ways. Like not personal to you as in customizing it, but personal as in like you can make it a more lived experience of Geralt's life, you know what I mean? Oh, good luck, Baker N7. You've got this. You've got this. B thank ba Baker for your packages. It's in her nature to go. Yeah, that's what I feel too. That's what Shawnee does. Exactly. Outer Worlds. I see, I never played Outer Worlds, but I've heard a lot of really, really good things. And Greedfall, I've heard mixed things. Silent protagonist. I don't mind the silent protagonist. This Geralt attire, yes. This is beak Geralt attire. Peak, get it? Yep. Doo doo romance. I was gonna read that as Dooku, and I was like, Star Wars? No, I don't have that pillow. Okay, back on back on track. This is like a five minute diversion. <laughs> anyway, Yorvith? Why do we think Yorvith's gonna be in the next game? So, learn anything about Olgird? Well, I abandoned the books quickly. Decided that if I was going to learn the truth, I'd need to find someone who knows him. Find anyone? Did you Turned out you? I didn't need to look far. A colleague at the Academy. An assistant to Professor Pramathine Shakeslock claims Olgird von Everick met the professor multiple times. Apparently, Olgird asked the professor to do some research. Professor got so worked up doing it, he went daffy. Started jealously guarding his notes. Wouldn't even let his assistant look at them. What? The professor, where will I find him? He's probably Here in like... Oxenfurt, cloistered inside his house on Academy grounds. Mage hunters guard his door. Mage hunters at the door. He under house arrest? I can't say, really. Some of the faculty think him a traitor. Say he sold out to the hunters for a hefty pouch of gold. The assistant, on the other hand, insists the professor wants him there to protect him. I don't know what from. What's your guess? He's certainly useful to them. A specialist in black magic and the occult? Must be a trove of knowledge. If he's really gone off his nutter, I wouldn't be surprised to see them using him. Need to talk to this professor. We'll go together. Redanian guards oh. all over the academy. Doubt you'll get in alone. Guards have never stopped me. You know that. Mm. Wound these, and I'll have to patch them up. Besides, we might run into a friend. Get inside free and easy. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, we're going. Um, let's, let's save before we get into another quest and just